on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump. Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen. Can you tell me your name on the count of three? One, two, three. I'm so glad you're here. We're in a series called Ready, Set, Go. When you run a race, it's important to get ready by exercising and training so you can make it to the finish line. The Bible says that following Jesus can feel like running a race. In this series, we'll learn about some special exercises that can keep us strong in our faith as we follow Jesus. Today, our training exercise is worship. Worship means we're praising Jesus for who he is and the things he's done. One of the ways we worship Jesus here in Cadodio is by singing songs to him. Well, now it's time to practice our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is, I can always worship Jesus. Now let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. I can always worship Jesus. Great job. Turn around. Now let's say the big idea all together while we're running. Ready? The big idea. I can always Worship Jesus! Awesome! Turn around. Now let's say the big idea while we're jumping. The big idea. I can always worship Jesus. Great job! Turn around. Now let's say the big idea one more time while we're swimming. Ready? The big idea. I can always worship Jesus. Awesome job practicing the big idea, kiddos. You can sit down. The big idea is so important, we're going to say it several times today. Whenever you see a racing flag and hear a cheering sound like this, it's time to say the big idea. Let's practice right now. The big idea. I can always worship Jesus. Great job. Next, we get to go on a Bible adventure. But first, we need to do one of the exercises in this jar. Let's choose one. Ooh, do five squats. Are you ready, kiddos? Stand up and let's bend our knees. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Now it's time for our Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, hey, oh. oh, hey, oh. The Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. It also has true stories about people who followed Jesus. Today, we get to read a story about two people who worshiped Jesus even when things were tough. 
Paul and Silas traveled to different cities, telling people all about Jesus. One day, they traveled to a town named Philippi. A large crowd gathered around them, and Paul and Silas began teaching people about Jesus. Some city leaders became angry and said that Paul and Silas were causing trouble in their city. Those leaders put Paul and Silas in jail, even though they didn't do anything wrong. Even though Paul and Silas were in jail, they sang songs about Jesus and prayed together. These things are called worship. The other prisoners were listening as Paul and Silas worshiped Jesus. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. The chains around Paul and Silas came loose and all of the prisoners were free. Instead of running away, Paul and Silas stayed in the jail and told the guard about Jesus. He and his family believed in Jesus and were baptized right away. Everyone was filled with joy. Great listening, kiddos. Even when Paul and Silas were in jail, they still worship Jesus by singing and praying. We can always worship Jesus too. Oh, that's our big idea sound. Can you say it with me, kiddos? The big idea. I can always worship Jesus. Great job. Now it's time to practice our memory verse. But before we do, we need to choose an exercise from this jar. Let's see what we need to do. Ooh, this says to jump as high as we can three times. Can you do that with me, kiddos? Ready? One, two, three. Great job. Now it's time to sing our memory verse. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Say, hey, hey. Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen and this is my friend Tony. Our memory verse comes from the Bible. This one talks about how following Jesus is like running a race. It's important to keep looking to Jesus and staying faithful as we follow him. Stand up and let's sing this song together. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 Let us keep on running the race marked out for us let us keep on looking to jesus he's the one who started this journey of faith and he is the one who completes it great job kiddos turn around this time let's sing the song again in our super voices. Are you ready? Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us keep on looking to Jesus. He's the one who started this journey of faith. And he is the one who completes Great job, kiddos. Turn around. Now this time, let's sing the verse again in our super loud voices. Are you ready? Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us keep on Good job singing our memory verse. Now let's stay standing so we can sing another song together. It's one way we can worship Jesus. This song is all about how much Jesus loves us. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day. I like to jump 
Always worship Jesus. Great job! Now it's time to try it out. But first, we need to choose one of the exercises from this jar. I'll pick one now. This says to wiggle your whole body for five seconds. All right, kiddos, can we do it? Ready? One, two, three, four. Five! Awesome job, kiddos! Now let's try out what we've been learning today. Try it out, try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right! We've been learning that we can always worship Jesus. Now it's time to try it out. I'm out here at the racetrack again because I'm training for a big race. Kiddos, when you're training, you can't just exercise for a day and then be ready for the race. You have to exercise day after day and do lots of different things so you can be strong and ready for the race. Let me show you some of the things I've been doing. was hard. You know, all these challenges remind me of a challenge that Paul and Silas had in our Bible adventure story today. Paul and Silas were hurt and thrown into jail, even though they didn't do anything wrong. That probably felt really hard. Instead of complaining or getting angry, 
Paul and Silas prayed and worshiped Jesus in jail. Wow, that's amazing! Kiddos, worship is one of the special exercises we can do that can help us be strong in our faith as we follow Jesus. It's something we can do every day. Did you know that just like there were a lot of different exercises I did to train, there are a lot of different ways we can worship God. There are. One of the ways we can worship God is by singing like we do here in Kadodio. When we worship Jesus, we're praising him for who he is and the things that he's done. We can show him how much we love him. Another way to worship is by saying thank you to God for the things he's given us. This family is going for a walk and saying thank you to God for all the things that they see. Another way to worship Jesus is by praying. We can pray to Jesus and tell him how much we love him. There's always a reason to worship Jesus because Jesus loves us, forgives us, saves us, and is always with us. This week, choose one way to worship him. Well, I can't wait to see you back at the track next week, kiddos. Now it's time to celebrate all we learned today by standing up and going Kidawampus together. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go, Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around and Kid Wampus. Singing it's time for Kid Wampus. Let's go, Kid Wampus. It's time for Kid Wampus. Let's jump around and Kid Wampus. Singing Kid O Wampus. Kid O Wampus. What? Kid O Wampus. Let's jump around and Kid Wampus. It's time for Animal Moves! Whenever an animal comes up on the screen, pretend that you are that animal. Ready? Go! Bunny Rabbit! Do the Worm! Gorilla! Rooster! Move like a turtle! like a fish. Outstanding! That was a super fun kid Wampus. You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God together. We can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. If you want to, you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Help us to always worship you. Amen. I've had so much fun with you kiddos. This week, let's choose a way to worship Jesus. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.